Hello coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some fresh updates for FC Barcelona. We are going to begin with Frankie de Jong, whose future at FC Barcelona have been in so much doubt recently. You know, especially the reports that came out saying that Frankie de Jong is among the players who are transferable for FC Barcelona. And of course, talking about the clubs that were interested in Frankie de Jong recently. So we are going to be discussing on this recent report, you know, Fabrizio Romano, who have come out to make it very clear that neither Manchester United nor Paris Saint-Germain, nor whatever, whatever, the big clubs, none of them have made any contact or any move so far for Frankie de Jong as many other reports speculated. We are going to be discussing much more on this development as we progress. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Pablo Gavi, whose highly speculated contract renewal with FC Barcelona have reportedly been delayed. Of course, it was expected that Gavi must have renewed his contract by now, but reports are claiming that Gavi's representative and FC Barcelona have not yet reached a final conclusion, you know, on the contract. And of course, the report continued to stress out the fact that it will likely be early next year or maybe ending this year that a conclusion can be made on Gavi's contract. Nonetheless, Gavi is still contracted to FC Barcelona until 2023 and Barca will do all they can to you know keep Gavi at the Camp nou for many years to come. We are going to be discussing much more on this report as we move ahead. So callers, as we get ready to discuss those stories in more detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Neither Manchester United nor Paris Saint-Germain have open talks with Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong despite recent rumors according to Fabrizio Romano. Everything is still quiet you know, around the Dutchman as things stand, a situation that could change in the coming months if reports are to be believed. De Jong was signed from Ajax in the summer of 2019 for a fee in the region of £77.4 million. He had performed at the heart of an exciting Ajax side that lights up the Champions League, making it to the semi-finals of that competition. Things haven't been as expected since. De Jong has failed to find a role that suits him in FC Barcelona's midfield, although it is fair to say he's joined Barcelona at a tumultuous period in their history. Given his reputation and market value, many have wondered whether he could become a sacrificial lamb for a club in dire need of an injection of capital. Time will tell. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona may well be in a difficult financial situation with regards to signing new players but the club are desperate to keep hold of some of their brightest young talents, although there are hurdles to overcome with Gavi's contract renewal being delayed. The midfielder's current deal expires in June 2023, but both parties are confident that an extension will be penned in the near future. Barcelona's technical department considers Gavi non-transferable. He is one of the cornerstones that Xavi is going to build around, despite being just 17 years old. In the 2021-22 season, Gavi has started in six matches with four coming in La Liga Santander and two in the Champions League. Negotiations began a month ago, but a conclusion hasn't yet materialized, and both sides have ultimately ruled out a decision being made before the end of 2021. His renewal has taken longer than that of Pedri and Sofati and Nico with the aforementioned trio having already committed their future to FC Barcelona. A number of clubs are interested in Gavi, with Chelsea and Liverpool monitoring his development, but a buyout clause of €50 million Euros has put paid to any such move. Gavi arrived at the club in 2015, signing from Real Betis Academy, and Juan Laporta is desperate you know, for his um, extension to be signed as early into 2022 as possible. Barcelona has seen what can happen if you let contract matters slide, and with the club unable to purchase the players they once did, they are relying on this generation of La Masia graduates to form the next great Los Corps team. Xavi has been impressed with the teenager since he arrived as coach, and he has been involved in a total of 20 matches this season, which will improve, you know, 
to be an invaluable development experience for him moving forward. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.